What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at contentcal.io. They're really awesome website that allows you to organize all of your social media in the form of a calendar and then even be able to track and automate it. So first off, what you're going to do is make an account and afterwards it's going to bring you to the homepage that has a variety of tutorials on how to use this thing. But I'm going to try to take all of those tutorials and I'm going to shove it into one quick little video so you guys can quickly see it. So first of all, there's manage people and you can have a variety of people that have access to this particular account and these particular sets of calendars. Each calendar can be based on different areas of your company, aspects, different projects, so on and so forth. So here we have one called Smart Tech, and I'm simply going to go ahead and check this particular calendar out. Now I have one post on here, but you guys can have as many posts as possible, um, and you can have them for as many social media channels as possible. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm simply going to hit new post here, and as you can see, this is a draft, and I can choose to have this go live on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, or maybe I just want it to go live on Instagram. Well, I'm going to put this as check this out this will be a potential post and then you can choose the publish date what day do you want it to go live and the exact time that you want it to go live and yes you can set this to normal time instead of just uh, military or international time now next off you want to add a little bit of media so what are our options for media well you can add it directly from our device or you can go ahead and add it directly from a link or you can go and search the web for particular images. You can add it from your Facebook, you can add it from your Instagram, and where it gets really cool is you can add it directly from your Google Drive or Dropbox. And lastly, you can go and take a photo or video directly on the spot. But for today's sake, we're gonna go and simply upload a random image that I have. These are some drone shots that I got. Let's go and add, here's Big Sur. And I'm simply gonna hit upload on this. And afterwards, you can go and add a post and it will add it directly to the uh, date and time that you mentioned. You do have to wait for the post to fully upload and that's an 8K image. So I'll give that a second. There you go. Add post. So now I have two posts on here. Both of them are Instagrams. I'm going to go and add one last post and this one's going to be a tweet. All right. I'm simply going to hit Twitter. And afterwards, I'm going to start writing. This is a tweet. Once again, I'm going to select a random date and time for this to go live on. And here are where the options get a little cool. You can add category tags so you can see a bunch of social media posts under a particular project or something of those sort, or you can mess with approvals. Now this is where things get really cool. You can actually have multiple people on this particular account, correct? Well, these people have hierarchies. So you have the central marketing officer, maybe a social media manager, so on and so forth. And of course you want this to slowly work up the chain and each person to look at the post to make sure everything looks the way they want it to. And eventually the person at the top needs to be able to set it as approved. Okay. So I'll show you guys how that works in a second, but let's say you are at at the top you can actually either send this for approval directly to a person who will get notified that you have a new post that hope maybe is going live in the next hour or the next day and needs approval or if you are the central marketing officer you're at the top you can go and add this as approved let's just say I'm at the top for this video's sake and now we have three different types of posts okay these are going live and I can actually mess with these posts let's say I want every single one of these posts to go live on a particular day the exact same day I can simply drag these posts and put them all in that day let's say I want this tweet to go live before these two Instagram posts live well I can go and do that as well I can also hit approve here if I am I don't know the manager or something I can simply hit approve and all of a sudden that turns green and it's ready to go live this one is blue and it is not yet ready to go live let's say I want to see if I really like this post or not I'm gonna hit post preview and it's gonna show basically a little replica of Instagram and what this particular post will look like on Instagram along with the description your account name and everything once you connect Instagram and all that to this it'll look even more polished how cool is that and you can actually do this for just about anything so a tweet will literally look like a tweet a Instagram post will literally look like an Instagram post and it's really really awesome now here's where things get even cooler you can also organize this in a variety of ways and you can really organize this months upon months in advance so if I want to really jump forward to maybe November and I want to plan a post for a particular event that we're having that's possible or I can go and set this by week all right and in this case it actually splits it into types of posts. So although the 11th is right here, we now have a tweet 
in the Twitter section, we have Facebook section, we have a LinkedIn section, and we have two things in the Instagram section. Let's say we have too many posts going live on this particular day and we split it into every other day. Well, it's as quick as just dragging and dropping. Now, last but not least, I'm going to show you guys my favorite thing here. I'm going to go and add a new post here, and I'm not going to select any of these, and I'm not going to select a published date. Or actually, I will select one of these, but I'm not going to select a published date. Well, this is what it's going to do. Let's go ahead and add another image, this one of an island. A uh, really awesome place. Do visit Culebra, guys. My favorite island. I will add like a smiley face or something, and I'm simply going to add the post. All right, wait for that to upload. Now what I'm going to do is simply add post, and this time it's not going to add to the calendar, okay? So another little way to approve certain posts is just to have a bunch of pending posts over here, and you don't know where or when you want those to go live, and maybe you don't even know which social media channel you want that to go live on. So you keep them here. You can add as many as you want over here, and when you're ready to look at that particular post, you can go and simply drag it onto a particular date. Someone can approve it directly on the spot by looking at the preview. I'm going to hit approve, or I can send it for approval, or I can even and reject it from here and afterwards I can go and have a really really awesome hierarchy and a really really awesome way to see which posts are going live on particular dates and which posts are kind of just sitting there let's say all of a sudden I'm like you know what this really shouldn't go live here we can actually go and get rid of all these posts and drag them right back even get rid of this tweet and all of a sudden we are back to a completely empty calendar Lastly, guys, you can actually go and add a campaign directly on here as well. So let's say this campaign is make more videos. All right. And we want this to start on a particular day and we want it to end on a particular day. And now we can have a full on campaign brief. I'm not really going to type anything here, but you guys can have your full campaign brief and you can even edit it in different ways. Next off, we're going to save this campaign and now it's actually going to show up on my calendar. So we're going to go to the month version. And as you can see, this is now a cool campaign. You're now able to have posts on just that campaign. So let's go ahead and throw something on here. Let's say we, we, can, we have a campaign going and we only want posts going live while that campaign is active. Well, this is a really, really seamless way to go ahead and do that. So next off, I'm gonna hit save on that. And here's the really cool thing. You can then go ahead and track everything in the analytics section and you can have members and approvals. I'm not gonna get too into this, but basically analytics allows you to track everything and afterwards, once you connect your accounts, you can actually automate and have these automatically post on their own. How cool is that? Lastly, the uh, members and approval flow. So you can actually have multiple hierarchies of people who can approve these. So if you have multiple accounts on this, uh, you can actually have one person approve it and then you can have maybe the social media manager say they looked at it and approve it. And then you can have a third person go look at it and approve it and afterwards let's say this tweet is finally ready to go live and this is really really awesome for people with bigger marketing teams or companies with bigger marketing teams and whatnot so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, there's a bunch of other things you can do with this go ahead and play around with it uh, there are options where you can only look at drafts you can look at all the things that are pending at the moment you can only look at approved posts if you're the person who is going to take those posts and allow them to go live or actually literally go and post them and you can even sort this by of course particular things like twitter or instagram and that's a really awesome way to filter everything and have everything stay nice and simple it's a really cool calendar it's a really cool concept go ahead and check it out and maybe even sign up for the trial and maybe even purchase it if this is something that will be valuable to your company hopefully you enjoyed this video if so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.